First graders, let's make a number. Make with a scoop number. the dog and Petey the parrot. First, a visit from the handwriting fairy to teach us the right way to write the number seven. All right, the handwriting fairy is back. She's got another rhyme for you to help you remember how to write the number seven. Across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way you make a seven. Get your fingers ready in the air. Do it with me. Across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way you make a seven. You can see seven in many places. My favorite place is in football. When they score a touchdown and kick an extra point, it's worth seven points. Or a septagon is a seven-sided shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that are all connected at seven corners. Let's watch a video of Petey the Parrot jumping on seven desks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Petey and Scoop are going to look at different ways they can make seven from fruits and vegetables. Petey, what's one way you see how to make seven? Well, Petey's looking for his lunch. He's really hungry, and he sees seven pieces of food, but he doesn't see anything to drink. So seven plus zero equals seven. And again, any time I write a number sentence, I can switch the two parts to make the same sentence. Zero plus seven equals seven because of the commutative property. Um, I see it differently. So Scoop sees four fruits and three vegetables. And those still make seven. Petey, how do you see it? Petey sees five pieces of food with stems plus two without stems. Five plus two equals seven. What always really helps Scoop is to organize her work. So Scoop really likes to draw a 10 frame. To draw a 10 frame, she makes a long rectangle with a line down the middle and draws four lines downward to make 10 spaces. Now when Scoop looks at that picture, she sees one white object, the cauliflower, and then six things that are not white. By organizing her work, she can see that one white and six not white make seven. Petey, is there any other ways you see it? Or could you rewrite any of my sentences differently? Petey wants to see a number bond seven whole pieces of food. One of the pieces of food, the strawberries, has speckles on it. So one part has speckles, while six parts do not. One plus six equals seven. So there are two ways that we didn't write the equations that are still possibilities. Use the commutative property to tell your teacher what are the two ways that Scoop and Petey missed. And Scoop says, seven is heaven. Tell someone all the ways that you learned how to make seven. 